We're about to go into the Wayland Union Middle School, and I'd like to show you around the school so you know where everything is. Coming into the front doors here, the main office is on the right-hand side, and you'll see inside there will usually be a, keep a couple people at the desks, a building aid, and a secretary. And then the principal's offices are further in the back, back there. There's also some meeting rooms and things like that. There's all sorts of information on this wall over here. Information that you might want to know if some events are coming up. Over on the right-hand side here is the gymnasium. And it's a fairly large gymnasium. It's a double size, though it's big enough for two basketball courts inside there. A little bit further to the right is the Roar store. And the Roar store is a store where you can buy stuff using Roar tickets. Roar tickets are basically like money and you can use them to buy the things in the Roar store. Turn a Roar ticket you just be respectful, responsible, and safe. And when a teacher or adult staff member sees you doing that, you could get a roar ticket. Cat cash. This here is the Wildcat. It was put here on the floor when the building was built originally. We're trying to keep it in best condition possible. So we try to avoid stepping on this when we come in or out of the building, and we just go around it. Over here on the left, this is the art classes display case. So for all the students that are taking art, they'll put stuff in there. And over on the right-hand side, this is the concession stands. We have lots and lots of sporting events after school, home events. And when there are home events, it's a great idea to come and cheer on the team, have some fun, and you can buy concessions. On the right-hand side here is our AED. We actually have several AEDs. And it sounds like that alarm was going off, so I've got to make sure that's closed. We also have, of course, a fire extinguisher. And it's really hard to see without the dark lights on. But here is the water fountain and the water bottle filling station. When you bring a water bottle, to class, to school, just make sure it's transparent like glass, just like a window, not a tinted, tinted color. Here's the art room, which we saw a little bit of earlier. And the first set of bathrooms is right here on the right-hand side. There's a hallway just here that goes back to the gym for the locker rooms. Oh, lights came on, nice. And this is called the A hallway, although most people don't actually call it that, but it is, it's the A hallway. And the first door, well, I guess the second door on the right is the boys' locker room, which is locked. And then the second door on the right is the girls' locker room. And there is a door that goes up to the balcony and the balcony is kind of uh, above the locker rooms. It's a fairly large area and it overlooks the gymnasium. There's also an exit over here, as you can see. Throughout the building we have clocks and the clocks help people know what time it is and if they need to get going someplace a little bit quicker. All right, so we're coming out of the A hallway, and I should mention this long hallway is called Main Street. So the Main Street hallway. All right, over here we have the B halls. There's two of them. They both go straight north, and we'll walk down there in a second. Before we do that, we have our athletic display case here. We have all sorts of sports at the school. We have volleyball and dance and cheer and basketball and swimming, cross-country running, track and field, equestrian, horseback riding, wrestling. We just have all sorts of different sports here, so there's a lot of them. 
And the sports are free to join, so that's awesome. You just need to you know, have shoes and a sports physical from your doctor, which, which tells the doctor that you are healthy for sports. There's another display case here. This one is usually set up by the teachers. Okay. In the morning time, normally what happens is students will come in the main doors and they will just hang out in this main street area. They will not go down the hallways. So never on the carpets in the morning, not until the first bell rings in the morning, which is... There's also some fire doors in case the fire alarm goes off or if there's a fire, those doors close automatically. So this is mostly seventh grade classes down this way. A couple of classrooms here. On the right is what's called the teacher conference room. It's actually really the copier room where the teachers make copies and can print things and scan things into the computer. There's a little study room right here on the side, and there's another study room on the other side. Let's see a little study room here. It's kind of nice. Lockers, of course there's lots of lockers, and it's a great, great idea to practice that locker combination. Just show you real quick how to do one. So what you'll do is you'll crank it a bunch of times to the right clockwise until you get to the first number, for example, uh, 27. So 27 is kind of tricky. It's like, the trick is don't go past it. So you see how that's 27? It's um, between 25 and 30, it's 27. And then the second number you turn it backwards, you pass the first number, so I've got to pass 27, and then you go to the second number, so maybe the second number is 4. So I'm going to go to 4, there's 4, and then the third number, you go um, clockwise again, but you don't pass the first number, so as soon as you get to that first number, or the, the final number that is. So maybe 30, uh, 24, okay? And then you just pull up on this little handle, it's hard, and the door should open. And don't worry if it doesn't open the first time, you just need to practice on it. Okay, so here's a couple more classrooms. There are five classrooms on each side, and there's two classes on that. So 10 classrooms in each hall. Again, here's the water fountains and the water bottle filling station. Filling station. When you put a water bottle in here, when it's plugged in, that is, it's not plugged in right now, it will fill up the water bottle. I, I don't think it senses the top, so just be careful. Oh, that one's working good. So we've got the boys' restroom here, and the girls' restroom over here. Let's keep going down the hallway here. The classrooms are B127, B128, B129. At the very end here, um, at the moment, we actually, in this classroom, have the technology department. If you ever have any issues with tablet computer that you're assigned from school, like an iPad or whatever, this is where you'd come to get some help. Um, but normally you go to the media center first, because the media center specialists can really help out. So at the end of the hall, there's two science rooms. This is B130. There's also another exit down here. There's B146 right here. Another science room. You can see just a nice looking science room with science room tables. B147 here is normally used as a math classroom, but you can see that all the iPads are in here right now. Well, let's take a look at this. I wonder if I can get the lights to come on. Um, there we go. Wow, so <laughs> this is kind of cool. Look at this. Here's all the seventh grade iPads. Looks like new black cases on those. We should look at the cases for a second. This is kind of cool. On the back, you just kind of lift up this and then push that down. And then the iPad will stand up, which is super awesome. It's on. Okie dokie. 
And then, of course, you just type in your passcode to get in there. Cool. And then the power off is on the side. I should mention that these have um, barcodes on the back there. So if they get lost or something, you can see the barcode. So here's all the 8th grade ones, the ninth grade ones, the 10th grade ones. Looks like some of those are already boxed up. These must be 11th grade ones. Here's all the carts from the classroom sets. I'm guessing this is all the iPads from the entire district. So these are the older iPads that are being used by the elementary schools right now. All the classrooms have iPads. Some of them don't have a lot of iPads, but they all do have iPads. Okay, so moving on. That classroom was normally used as a math classroom. So we're still in the B hallways. I guess this one would be called the right hand one. A couple more classrooms, B148, B149. Again, we're going past the same bathroom, same drinking fountain. I'm gonna go this way down the hall. Couple more classrooms on the left. Actually, this room, B150, doesn't have a window, so it's normally not used as a classroom. It's used as a meeting room mostly, and you'll see there's a set of round tables in there. So that's kind of nice if the students or teachers want to have a meeting. B151 here um, could be a classroom, but actually it's used as a computer lab right now. So it's called the seventh grade computer lab or the B151 computer lab, and it's got 30 computers for 30 students students, up to 30 students. Oh, I missed, there's the study room over here also, the B142 study room. It looks just like the other study room. This one looks like it has a beanbag chair in it though. Same teacher's conference room with the copy machine. And one of these doors is like a janitor's closet and the other one is a stairway that goes up to the attic. And I don't know if I've been in that attic. Okay, so we're back in Main Street. Now we're gonna turn and go this away towards the cafeteria. Another clock, you can see another fire extinguisher. Media center is over here, C101. So this is technically the C hallway. I'm guessing the media center is locked. Oh, it's not locked, wow. We get to go in the media center. Oh, I love this media center. Oh. Yep, there we go. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see if I can find the lights. I'm guessing. Oh, maybe they're over this way. So the media center is awesome. It's one of the coolest places in the school. There are all sorts of books. There's computers. There's super fast Wi-Fi in here for using tablet computers and whatever else. Where's the rest of the lights? They're there. Ah. Hit that one. Okay. 